Good evening, my people. We are still discussing our main topic about uh, muscles persons and majorly we have a very important topic about myositis which is affecting most people in our local uh, our society but they don't usually understand what it is before we continue I can forget to appreciate you people for the support you are giving me and for the far you have taken me. If it were not for you guys, this channel would have failed. Continue keeping the support on, continue subscribing, liking and sharing our videos so that they may reach so many people in the locality. Myositis and treatment. What is myositis? Myositis is a chronic. Chronic means it's not acute. It's something that happens gradually or over a period of time. So myositis is a chronic, progressive inflammation of the muscles. Chronic progressive inflammation of muscles that means it occurs within a, a longer duration of time some types are associated with skin rashes some types of myositis are associated with skin rashes medications and exercises can help but Finding the right treatment may take trial and error method. Medications and exercises can help, but finding the right treatment may take trial and error method. This means it's not directly diagnosable. Myositis is a rare disease and can take time or its difficulty to diagnose. Myositis is a rare disease and can take time and it's very difficult to diagnose. And the cause is sometimes unknown. Being difficult to diagnose and also the cause is unknown. Symptoms can appear rapidly all gradually over time. Symptoms can appear gradually or rapidly over time. Primary symptoms include muscle pain and soreness, fatigue, trouble in swallowing and difficulties in breathing. Primary symptoms or the first symptoms include muscle pain and soreness, fatigue, trouble in swallowing and difficulty in breathing. Myositis can affect both children and adults. It's not specifically for the aged or for the adults, but it can affect all races and both children and adults. Women are more prone to myositis than men. And as we continue, we will we'll know why. Women are more prone to myositis than men. What are the types of myositis? Types of myositis. We have five. Five types of myositis. Number one, dermatomyositis. Dermatomyositis. Number two, inclusion body myositis inclusion body myositis number three juvenile myositis juvenile myositis number four myo polymyositis polymyositis and number five toxic myositis toxic myositis let's see the first 
type, dermatomyositis, is the easiest form of myositis diagnosed due to the purple red rashes in the shape of heliotrope flower. Dermatomyositis is the easiest form of myositis to diagnose due to the purple red rashes in the shape of heliotrope flower. The rash develops on eyelids, face, chest, neck, and back. The rash develops on eyelids, face, chest, neck, and back. It also develops over joints such as knuckles, elbows, knees, and toes. It also develops over joints such as knuckles, elbows, knees, and toes. And muscle weakness follows other symptoms. So it also develops over joints such as knuckles, elbows, knees, and toes, and muscle weakness follows. So after it develops in the knuckles, elbows, knees, and toes, muscle weakness follows. That means those are the first signs, then muscle weakness follows. Other symptoms of dermatomyositis include Number one, scary, scary, dry, rough skin. Scary, dry, rough skin. Number two, gotrons, papules, all gotrons sign, which is bumps found over knuckles, elbows, and knees with erased scaly breakout. Gotron's purples, all Gotron's signs, which means bumps found over knuckles, elbows, and knees with erased scaly breakout. Number three, trouble rising from a seated position. Trouble rising from a seated position. This is obviously due to the weak muscles. Number four, fatigue. Number five, weakness in uh, hip, back, and shoulder muscles. Weakness in hip, back, and shoulder muscles. Number six, difficulty in swallowing. Number seven, hoarseness of voice. Difficulty in swallowing, hoarseness of voice, and dense lumps of calcium under the skin. And dense lumps of calcium under the skin. Muscle pain. Uh, joint inflammation, nail bent abnormalities, nail bent abnormalities, weight loss, irregular heartbeat, and G G gastrointestinal ulcers. Irregular heartbeat and gastrointestinal ulcers. This makes the end of our first video. So let's continue subscribing, liking, and sharing our videos so that they may reach as many people as possible. Let's meet in the next video.